welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Campbell. Campbell! It's big welcome back to all our listeners, listening yeah. weekly, but yeah. an even bigger welcome back huh. to us. To us. Yeah. Because I don't, people may not have known this, mm. but as a special Christmas treat, yeah. we gave ourselves a month off, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, that was a delicious <laughs> month off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So good. Uh, I almost I almost forgot about the podcast that yeah. it existed. Yeah, I think next time we should try for like six weeks. Well, then I'll think I'll I'll just forget about it completely. We'll never have to do it again. The danger with a month off, mm-hmm. like say a Pringle, oh, okay. once you have one, yeah. you wouldn't mind another. Oh yeah, yeah you can't stop. Yeah, once yeah. you've popped, yeah, you cannot stop. You cannot stop. Oh, well. We've so got a lot I, of holidays coming up. I just want people to recognize that we have done, metaphorically, had one Pringle and stopped. We have popped and then stopped. Yes, yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, I went away uh, to Western Australia for a, a bit uh, on my little break. And um, this is the only thing that I want to come back with. Uh, a gripe, if you will. Sure. Um, we went to a food truck festival. Mm-hmm. And I thought... Food trucks festivals are good, the worst. Good in in idea. Good in Sounds idea. Sounds like a fun novelty. Sounds so fun. Execution, very frustrating. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Why do they exist? Why does anybody get food from a food truck unless it's the, literally the only convenient well, this place is, to get food? This is the thing. The, the opinions on food trucks is always when you see one out in the wild and you're not yeah. expecting it, it's yeah. a treat. It's uh, like, yeah. oh, yes, I can finally get food. Bit of fun. But yeah. when you're going out to eat. Yeah. They're not the best vessel. You you, you realize you're like oh, the, these food trucks aren't meant to create gourmet delicious no, food. No, they've they, got like a deep fryer and yeah, a microwave. Yeah, most of the stuff is like pre prepared yeah. and it, it's not good quality because they need to like have it in bulk. <laughs> it, it is actually a terrible concept, and for some reason. Some idiot, I don't know who it was, Mr. Festival, I think, mm-hmm. came up with food truck festivals. And then, and so many people go to them. And then that adds on the extra annoyance of having to wait in line for so long because it's, it, again, it just, it's not really set up for like serving a lot of people either. Mm. You think it is. It's, but it's set not. up for occasional foot traffic. Yes. That's like the best type of food truck. Occasional food truck for somebody who's too busy to get real food <laughs> is basically <laughs> what a food truck is for. They are just a terrible concept. Um, so while we're in what is turning out to be 2023's newest segment, uh, Food Festival Gripes. Yeah. <laughs> I once went to a donut food festival. Mm. And here's what I quickly discovered. Yeah. Once you've had one donut. Yeah. You've had enough yeah, donuts. You're like, oh, I, I, <laughs> I had. <laughs> so I remember we went in, and yeah. there was like a thing on the right. And I think they were like Nutella donuts, which yeah. at the time were like a big trend. Yeah, and I was like, delicious. I love Nutella, Nutella donut. donut. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I ate that, and then I didn't want to go. Yeah, to en- we've got a fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Should we <laughs> evacuate? Um, let's see what happens. Okay, <laughs> if you can hear that, you might not be able to. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. I, if I, we start screaming, it's because the flames are coming through. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the problem with coming back to this podcast. Yeah. We had a lovely month off. Loved yeah. it. As soon as we sit down and record another, yeah. fire alarms going off, telling us to get out. Oh, my God. Anyway, my point is, food festivals yeah. can't be too specific. Too, uh, I, I, I can add on to how they shouldn't be so specific. I went to a uh, coffee food festival. <laughs> yeah. Cambo. Like... Think about that's the most think Melbourne about, thing you've I know ever you done. don't. I don't. Yeah, that's true. I know you don't drink coffee, mm-hmm. but even just think of like the biggest coffee file you know. Yeah, they've got like what maybe four or five cups of well, coffee in a day. At the, at the moment, it's you because you went to that coffee festival. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but they might. It's like maybe max five coffees in a day, and that's a lot of coffee. That's a dangerous amount of coffee. But when you're at a coffee festival. All you have to try is coffee. So, like, by the third stall, I'm, like, super buzzing. And I remember towards the end, I was like, I'm sweating. I just, it's not (laughs) hot, but I'm just sweating and I need to uh, stop drinking coffee. I think I I think I damaged my kidneys, probably. Even, like, it is diminishing returns, isn't it? Like, you can have, there's 
different kinds of coffee. Obviously, you've got yeah. your cappuccinos, your espressos, etc. Mm-hmm. And then I guess you could stray into like iced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like, I mean, it's not about that though, because because it's such a fancy uh, coffee festival. It's about the beans themselves. Ugh. And let me tell you something, <laughs> yeah, mate. You could barely, barely tell the difference between one bean and another. When people are like, "Oh, you need the right beans," f off. It's all basically the same. Okay? okay, get some ethical beans in you, and that's all you really need. I have more to say. <laughs> I understand that someone's probably going, 2023, let's start a new podcast. Oh, I love Reddit. Yeah. And now we've talked about food festivals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But last point, I think. What food do you think that you do love enough Mm -hmm. that you could do a food festival of? Okay, you know what? My girlfriend, (laughs) she found one the other day and sent it to me. And I was like, this is bizarre. I think I want to go, but I don't know what will be there. It was a garlic food festival. Oh, okay. And I love garlic. Yeah. But, like, will I be too garlicked out? I think that's possible. And also, is it just garlic? Like, what? I was like, okay, I can imagine garlic sauces and then just, like, garlic bread, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm out of garlic things. But you know what? Like, it's the right. safest spot in the city because not a single vampire will be there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. No, actually, it's, like, it's like two hours away as well. So I was like, maybe let's not go. <laughs> I don't want to drive two hours to a garlic food festival and then be really disappointed when yeah. there's just one dude with a plate of garlic bread. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, I once saw a poster for a dim sim food festival, oh. and I was like, I am interested in that actually. Oh, yeah. But see, again, that's always too filling. I feel like you need something that's like not that filling. Mm. You know what? Wine. I'll wine. Drink. Yeah, yeah. I drink wine. Yeah, I drink, I drink a lot of wine. Don't you worry. <laughs> Why hasn't anyone ever thought of a wine festival, uh, Nelson? Idiots, idiots. We can make so much money. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get into the Reddit stuff. Uh, this first one actually was, um... Oh, just for people wondering why that took so long. That's us legitimately catching up for the first time. (laughs) (laughs) We haven't seen each other. (laughs) That's what this podcast is. Just us catching up, talking about stuff that we would, uh, unrecorded. We decided to record (laughs) it. Uh, anyway, uh, this first thing actually isn't, uh, on Reddit. (laughs) 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 This is from, uh, all it was from, it was on Reddit. It was one of our listeners. They sent in some potential dad jokes by an AI. Oh, yes. So we've had a lot of uh, people writing with AI stuff. So this was from Nom 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 Nation. Uh, So potential dad jokes by an AI. Uh, I got an AI to write some dad jokes. I did it in a way where it wouldn't just copy paste existing ones and actually invent its own. The only one that was actually somewhat good... What did the moon say when it was asked to move? I mean, I've got the answers right here, John. Oh. <laughs> I'm on a lunar cycle. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> some more. The rest didn't make sense, but these ones made me laugh. Why did the tomato blush? Because it heard the salad dressing was farting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that is weird for like... that. I, when I've been using chat GPT recently... Because I found it really interesting. And I did realize at the, the start, I was like, this is amazing. This is the most advanced thing in the world. And then when it started giving me some like incorrect information or some weird stuff, I was like, oh no, what it is, is like a toddler that is incredibly intelligent. <laughs> or it's like got a lot of information. Uh, you've put a toddler in front of Google basically. Yeah. And, and that's what it's doing. And this just makes me think of... Exactly what a like toddler or young kid would make up as a joke because they don't really get jokes. Yeah, but they're like blushing, farting. Yeah, I'll put these things together. This was also evidenced in our pod napping we did recently, where we got it to write stand up comedy for us. Yeah, yeah. Where it had the structure of a joke without the punchlines yeah, necessarily. Yeah, didn't didn't quite get it. Okay, I'll read these other terrible lines. <laughs> what did the computer mouse say when it was excited? I mousevated. it. <laughs> even close <laughs> i've got yeah okay i mean people are worried that computers are going to take over until they get the jo- the humor right then i think we're fine what did the iphone say to the android beep bop boop i'm better than you <laughs> that was that's pretty good that's pretty good and i, I love that chat gpt has the opinion about which he prefers over yeah. iphone and android <laughs> yeah yeah what did captain america say when he saw thanos that's one big purple guy <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I like these actually. Yeah. I take it back. These are great. Uh, what did the eagle say to the other while they were flying? Nothing. They just gave each other a high five with their <laughs> wings. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because eagles don't talk. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, anywho, uh, let's move on to uh, the first Reddit on Reddit. This is uh, in the subreddit Unethical Life Pro Tips. Uh, oh, but it was uh, actually cross posted to us by Just Judging Reddit, but originally by a dazzling dove. Uh, unethical Life Pro Tip request How can I make $50,000 in a week to a month? Food truck festival. It's so easy. It, 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 uh, first. Nobody expects anything good from a food truck. Once they're oh, there, they so realize I, I should elaborate. Yeah. You say to everyone, if everyone chips in, mm-hmm. I'll burn down this food truck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you'll get so many people on yeah, board. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I thought it was like, because I think the, the idea of food truck festival, right, is like the gimmick of something. And you're like, oh, that's a fun little like a gimmicky thing they've done. And maybe it's it, it's as simple as like a region of food or like I saw one where they were doing fairy floss, but the fairy floss was made into these like cute little animals and stuff, you know. Or it's like uh, th- I had actually for my 30th birthday a um, Jaffle yeah. uh, food truck. And like Jaffle's, is that a known thing? Surely. It's like it's yeah, like it's sandwiched, it's a, think, like think, pressed into. I think it's a British thing. Right, yeah, it does it does sound like that. Anyway, it's like pressed together. Anyway. Uh and so I think what you could get away with, oh my god, I'm gonna combine ideas here, is you go to a food truck festival, yep. you hire the truck. No, you know what? Just in your car. It's fine. In the boot. <laughs> in the boot of your car. Because a car, people, a car boot festival. Because people will be like, Oh my god, how genius is this idea? All these other suckers have some sort of like food truck, but this gimmicky guy has just got it out of the boot of his car. That's genius. I'll go there. Mm-hmm. Step one. They're already hooked on that yep. or already. But just for those that are like, oh, I'm not sure. Um, it's going to be garlic bread. Okay. So and you I, just have like a small oven or something? Uh, I've pre- I've pre- it, done it, <laughs> what you've got is a little warming tray, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't have to think about like <laughs> power supply and whatnot. And if I can serve people quickly, yeah. I'll get more... More money. Yeah, okay. You know. $50,000, you'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what I'll do is I'll start at reasonably priced garlic bread. Yeah. But then as the day goes on and I need to get closer to my $50,000, <laughs> I just up the price a little bit at once. By the end of it, somebody's paying $35 for, <laughs> for a piece of garlic bread. The thing I've learned recently is um, because we've had nothing to do mm. in the last month or so, yeah, I d- you've I've been dis- making fifty thousand dollars a week to a month. Yeah, it's pretty um, good. I've discovered a YouTube channel uh, that's all about this guy just like exposes like crypto scammers. Oh yeah, right. <clears throat> that's a great way to earn money. Yeah, pump and dump scheme. Oh yeah, that's pretty you, good. You need yeah. someone semi famous to pump it. Yeah, and then you all dump it. Yeah, that's but, uh, pretty good. You'll make off with millions. Yeah, yeah, that is good. I have heard this idea, because well, I don't know much about crypto or whatever, but I was speaking to a friend the other day, and he said what a lot of people have done, because there's like cryptos being you know created every second of the day, basically. Yeah. Um, and so people create bots to just buy like a small amount of each crypto when it comes out. Yeah. Um, and so he said apparently some people... Uh, in the system, don't know how, they make it so that you can buy it, but you can't sell it. (laughs) (laughs) So, like, it's just a literal scab. It's looking only basically for the people who aren't interested and they're just like, yeah, whatever, I'll buy a bit of this crypto and whatever. (laughs) And then I was like, that's genius. That's that's such a good idea. Um, It's like buying an investment property or something and then just being like, psh. You stuck with this for the rest of your life. Yeah, you it's can't ever sell this. Zero dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The investment is your time. Yeah. <laughs> into owning this. Yeah. Um, but that's good. Um, here's another thing people like to get on board. Uh, like social justice causes. Yep. Charities yep. in some way. Yep. Um, if I really need him $50,000, uh, my morals are flimsy at best. So. <laughs> Okay. Uh, here's another thing people like 
animals. Uh, yes. Can be. Uh-huh. So all you need to do is start some charity uh, event, a uh, situation, a donation. Yeah. And make it revolve around animals being mystery. <gasps> okay, I've got a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> what animal do people like the most? Monkeys, obviously. <laughs> we meant to say that at the same time, can we? Because, <laughs> because obviously it's monkeys. Yeah. Uh, we're so close in relation. Um, here's what you need. Here are the tools you're going to need. Yeah. A camera mm-hmm. to film on. Probably phone's fine. A big stick. Yeah. <laughs> I already see where this yeah. is going. Ticket to the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your biggest expense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is that is the biggest expense. Yeah. Uh, going to the zoo mm-hmm. when nobody's watching. Film. Uh, uh, you you could film it. Oh, it's good maybe if you've got a friend uh, coming mm-hmm. along that's well wearing a balaclava. That's the fourth thing you need. Okay. It's a balaclava. <laughs> Okay, so you and I, we go to the zoo, yeah. you put the balaclava yeah. on, yeah. you get the stick, uh-huh. I film you mm-hmm. jabbing the monkeys <laughs> with the stick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we pretend that this is like in a different part of the world. Yeah, yeah, okay. And like these monkeys are being mistreated. Adelaide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Adelaide, yeah, they're Adelaide. Um, and uh, and then, uh, yeah, we, we started like GoFundMe mm. thing or whatever. Yeah. But like, we'll stop this, yeah. which is so easy to do. We're not even <laughs> lying. We're not even <laughs> lying when we say we, we'll <laughs> stop it. We do have the power <laughs> yeah. to stop this. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we need 50,000, oh, we need 100,000, why yeah. not? Um, can I present what I think would work in the same vein, but much simpler? Yeah. All you need is a stock image. Oh, uh, yeah. Cute dog. Yeah. Separate thing says, give this dog a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. I reckon <laughs> most people would be like, I'll give the dog a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that cute dog. Yeah. I'll give it a dollar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try both our plays. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, see who comes up in the winner. All right, let's get into Ask Credit. This Ask Credit is by uh, Gone Emotionally. Uh, sorry, cross posted to us by Gone Emotionally, but originally by Scandinavian Salmon. <laughs> you wake up one morning and you're five years old again, but you retain all of your gained knowledge. Today's the first day of kindergarten. What do you plan on doing? Here's the thing. I, I've sometimes thought about this situation of like, what if you had to start life again with all the knowledge? Mm-hmm. And I maybe this is something about my character. And I'm going to say your character because I feel like you will agree with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, It's all about financial gain for me. Yeah. I'd be yeah. like, what are the companies no one saw coming? Yeah, yeah. I'm like gonna Apple, invest- investing in Apple at that time would still be great. At the still time be great. Of- yeah. Yeah. Um, when Netflix first started out, invest big into Netflix because they were just, remember, they were like a mail service yeah, for yeah, ages. Yeah. And then they were fighting with Blockbuster. You get in real early with, yeah. with Netflix. Yeah, that's true. Um, you get in you get in early with Twitter and then get off at the right point with Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's true. Even then, I'm like, was Twitter ever really... I, I, I don't know, the share price of Twitter, did it ever... I mean, I, I suppose it had to always start pretty low. Yeah. But I never saw that as a company that was like, yeah, we got billions in, in shareholder funds. Maybe they did, yeah. I suppose. I suppose they did. We, but it was just like, it, I, I just know, I feel like it was a known fact that Twitter, like, didn't make money. Yeah. Like, Twitter's Twitter's revenue or, or, like, the reason why it survived was because of investors. Who are like, yes, this will do it. Which is why, obviously, um, Elon has been like, let's make money from it. Yeah. Because that was the whole problem with it in the first place, is that it wasn't making any money. So here's here's the problem I think that we would have that I feel like people don't consider enough. Yeah. We we If we're five, for you it would be, what, 94? For me, 95. Yeah. You're 89, right? Yeah. 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 I would be so bored yeah. because I don't have my phone. <laughs> yeah. I don't have the internet. Oh my god! So many I, video games that I wouldn't have access to. People oh might my. be like, "Oh, 1994. You could go home. You could watch Jurassic Park on VHS. <laughs> yeah. One, seen it. You've already seen it. And two, you'd be like, this 
this quality is terrible. Yeah, yeah. So I'm grainy. used to watching this in 4K <laughs> on my massive TV. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. TV's so big. Oh, yeah, that would be the worst part about it. Oh and my you God. won't get that TV again for years. Yeah. <laughs> and and I I also couldn't affect like the, the speed no, up of that no. either. I don't know <laughs> how that technology works or what we need from it. Oh, what a pain in the yeah. butt. Do you know, there is another part of me, though, that would be like, I'm just going to, yeah, well, first thing, first day of kindergarten, I'm going to have a nap straight up. <laughs> <laughs> it, very rarely have I been able to in my adult life just be like, I'm going to nap and also in front of a lot of people. <laughs> would you tell anyone about 9-11? Oh, that's a good one. I mean, as a kid, what could you do? Yeah, yeah, it. it how? But then, when it does happen, everyone will be like, "Why did you know?" Yeah, is yeah, it is it true. the smartest thing to do? Just shut your mouth, and then on September ten, as you mm. go to bed, go, "Oh boy, oh, boy, boy. <laughs> I am not sleeping tonight." <laughs> um, yeah, that is tricky because it would be hard to. <clears throat> also, if you did manage to convince them, and they're like, "Oh my god, we've worked out this kid has gone back in time, and he has the memories of an older man." <clears throat> He's also bought a lot of Apple stock, right? Yeah. And then that's all it takes. Butterfly effect. Apple crumbles for just some reason. (laughs) Too many investors or something. And then we don't get the iPhone. I don't get my phone anymore. Here's... Oh, God. Oh, God. (laughs) Here's the... um, One of the potential upshots of, like, possibly being burdened with information you didn't want to know. Mm-hmm. Let's say you do decide to tell people about 9-11, yeah. right? And somehow you get to some contact in the American government and yeah. go, there's a, there's a, it's going to happen September 11. These are the planes. These are the whatever. Yeah. This is where it's going to happen. They're like, thank you for all your information. Yeah. And then it still happens. Oh. And you're like, oh, no. Oh, no. They did <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, uncovering a lot more than I thought or it like would. Or like you go to New York on, on the yeah. year before, you get like a deluxe tour. Like, just to be clear, can these beams <laughs> yeah, yeah. will jet fuel melt them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, they'd never melt them. Interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, I think uh, you would... You could be so totally overburdened by uh, by the negative consequences in the future, though, I reckon. Mm. Like, because we're talking about 9-11 because it's obviously the Cultural touch biggest there for a lot of people, one, yeah. or I guess, I don't know, or at least a lot of impact. I mean, there would be other things where lots more people died yeah. that I probably don't remember mm-hmm. the exact dates of or, you know, think like if I, if I think about the... Um, uh, Black, uh, uh, but what, what do we call Saturday. it? Black Saturday. Black Saturday. I was thinking Black Friday. That's yeah. a different thing. Uh, people still die, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people they're enjoy shocked at the savings. Black Friday a lot more <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. than they do Black, Black Saturday. Black Saturday, huge uh, bushfire. Huge bushfires in Australia. Um, you know, and I, and I think one of the instances of that was like a guy using a power tool, which you're not meant to, on a total fire ban, mm-hmm. um, and started you know horrific fires and stuff. And I'm like, do I? Say something about that. What about COVID? COVID? Can I do something about <laughs> like that? Can I go to Wood? Like, I reckon you could be crippled by the like, yeah. oh shit, how do I how do I manage all these terrible things that I know are gonna happen? Yeah. Um yeah, so I'm just gonna stick with the nap. <laughs> 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 I think that's <laughs> That's my game plan. And start a it lo- would be start, good. start a small lobby against wet markets. Yeah. <laughs> It would, it would be good actually, because right now I have too many responsibilities. Yeah. It would be nice just to go back to a time where I'm like, I don't have to do anything. But you need to be able to take stuff with you. Mm. No, so what's this device you've got under your arm? It's a PlayStation Five. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, this is a hard drive full of. PlayStation 5 games. <laughs> also, this one here is my TV. Yeah. Way bigger. Yeah, way, way, way bigger. Yeah, that would Don't be... tell anyone about this. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, maybe I would want to tell somebody about this. I'd go straight back to Sony with my PlayStation and be like, I got this sort of a future. Make, <laughs> make it better from it. Like, this is now the base level. <clears throat> By the time I'm 33 again or whatever. Yeah. 
I'll have PlayStation 10. 7, yeah, 10, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then, Campo, I get back in time again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing you've done mm. is iterate PlayStation beyond the yeah. limit. <laughs> 9-11 still happened. Every, every time still 9-11 happened. happens, I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, yes. I forgot to do something about it again. <laughs> next time. Next time, I promise. I, I won't even think about the PlayStation. <laughs> uh, but then maybe if we advance the technology enough, mm-hmm. uh, the PlayStation 27 could change the world. Peace, could, peace and harmony all over. Could be, we could be in a ready player one situation. Yeah. I'll give that a go first. <laughs> I'll, I'll ex- exhaust that option. Because remember, you can always go back. We, I can always we, go back. We've added that out. Yeah, yeah we, <laughs> we can always go back. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I do wonder whether I would, every time I go back, just be like, Oh, I enjoy not having any responsibilities and just forget all my plans <laughs> for the future. And that's it. But the thing is, you can forget responsibilities and not have any plans for the future now. You just need to do it right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, mate, let's move on to Today I Advice. So now it's time for Today I Learned. Today I Learned. And also sometimes advice. Uh, this, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> this, today I learned, it's cross-posted this by just judging Reddit. Okay. You don't know which one I'm going to do. Oh, uh, yeah, that is too. Uh, but it was originally by, look at the bacon. Yes, I picked it right. <laughs> yes. I was like, he won't do the first one now that he said that. Yeah. <laughs> today I learned... That defunct airline Pan Am accepted reservation requests from 93,000 people for commercial space flights to the moon, which are expected to start departing in the year 2000. Uh, first of all, back to question number one, mm-hmm. how to earn $50,000. Mm-hmm. You knew that we buy one ticket to the moon. Yeah. Convince one, one person. person that it will yeah. cost $50,000. Or like, who was that con artist that sold like famous bridges? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah just yeah. do that. Just scam people. Yeah, that is genius. Could you ever imagine being, let's say, rich enough that if somebody came on to you and was like, hey, want to buy a bridge? Obviously, it's not really your. It's going to Yeah, we can't there. move it. It's can't a structural move it, thing. But, like, technically, it's you yours. It. Do you ever think you could have enough money to be like, yeah, all right? It's the <laughs> NFTs of their day. It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Anyway, I think this is so funny because, like, who was the guy? Who was who was trying to do this? Where they were like, yeah, in the year two thousand, definitely we can do commercial flights, and we're still in the year twenty twenty whatever, and we've okay, actually, I think we've d- technically done one, two, not moon flights with like oh, commercial sorry, passengers. Moon. Oh yes, no, I'm an idiot. It took I, I, the I, richest I thinking, men in the world yeah, to go to just, into low orbit, to just go out and then come back again. <laughs> I yeah, think one a little of them bit. didn't even properly go into orbit, wasn't it? Right, like yeah. they they were technically not in space; they were just in just very high atmosphere, really high. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. yeah. Here's to the, the problem. Moon. Oh my god, that's so more much more insane. <laughs> I, yeah, I wasn't even yeah. thinking about it. Because like the thing is, like Pan Am was big in what the like the sixties and and such like right, that, that yeah. was their, their heyday i'm yeah. basing this on the movie catch me if you can yeah <laughs> yeah that's what i <laughs> was basing it up to. and it seems like at the time 69 you had men on the moon being like well by 2000 you'd assume yeah. this is a regular occurrence yeah 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 i i know they've they've spent millions if not billions of dollars uh and have a gigantic rocket ship but i imagine just but- like just like chuck some jets on a bus but and you, that'll you, do. You look at the iteration of a phone, right? Yeah. The first phones, huge structural things, whole cities had to come together to put in like phone lines or whatever and there'd be like one phone in a town or whatever. And yeah. within like 50 years, they're yeah. just in every house. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can imagine if you're in the 60s, like yeah. by 40 years, obviously they spent billions now, <laughs> yeah. but it'd be like hundreds of thousands and then... <laughs> Thousands, right? Technology actually goes pretty fast. Yeah, you know what? I'm annoyed that, that they, they're not flying to the moon. They probably said to themselves, and I think 
they were right to think this. Well, America won't lose interest in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is incredible. This is the most incredible thing we've ever done. America will not lose interest in this space program. There is so much to explore on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the other problem is the year 2000 sounds like the future. Yeah, it does. So it really has a special ring to it. It yeah. really does. So they were like, two, are you kidding me? The most future year in the world? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure we'll be going to the moon, all right? It was definitely Put a magic Put them on sale now. <laughs> We don't have that magic number now because year 3000 is too far away. We're like, yeah. well, none of us will see that. So what's the point of thinking about the year 3000? Well, but, yeah. and so then there's no no companies can like promise some futuristic gap because they're like, oh, the year 2035. That doesn't have a nice ring to it. The thing is there was one other future year. And I know this because... A bunch of movies are set in this year. Oh, that were set in 2001, the A Space Odyssey? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, 2020. Oh, right. Because I guess that has like a nice ring to it. Yeah, but they're like, like uh, yeah. Edge of Tomorrow, for example, the Tom Cruise movie. Oh, was right. was set in 2020. Really? Uh, that that movie with that dragons and Christian Bale and whatever, yeah. that was set in 2020. Because back in like 2000, that seemed futuristic. 2020 right. sounds futuristic. Yeah. And then there was an apocalypse of a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I've been promised too much, Yeah, basically. I think the the uh, idea that, um, you know, we've, we, like, we've had all these failures or things not come true, then nobody could promise me anything in the future. I won't believe them. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, Nelson, we're going to go to the, the zoo tomorrow. I'm like, don't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> so, they said this about the what, moon. Yeah, they said... <laughs> I remember the promises that were given to me. <laughs> this is bullcrap. I don't trust any of you. Uh, anyway, just so also genius that that um, airlines can just sort of. I, I love like a good a good big essentially scam. Yeah. from like a big company that I, I mean I imagine they probably I'm making all this up didn't get in trouble for this because they were like well we were planning to and also like. We wrote into the clauses about how if it doesn't happen, soz, but you're yeah. not getting your money back. And uh, I wonder if, because uh, Richard Branson was one of the billionaires that went into space. Yeah. Or possibly not. Yeah. Uh, but they, I remember they were big on Virgin Galactic mm. uh, and they were selling tickets to that. Yeah. And I wonder if he went there just to be like, Illegally, we need to prove that there was some kind yeah, of yeah. <laughs> some kind of effort made to do it. Yeah, you, you need to go up once to prove it. Then we can write all this off. As... Yeah, yeah. Then, then uh, just pretend you got space sick and it's uh, not a viable uh, yeah. thing for for people. So yeah, that's good. Good job. Uh, okay, but let's move into shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. This shower thought is uh, cross-posted to us by Gone Emotionally, uh, but originally by Keeping It Real. Many people are more careful about the fuel they put into their car than the fuel they put into their own body. Oh, fuck, Nelson. Yeah, it's deep, isn't That's it? Deep. That they is are deep. keeping it real. They are. They've they've kept it real. They've is yeah, they've what I think. they've lived up to their name. Yeah. Even though it's spelled R E E L, which makes you think they're a filmmaker. Yeah, yeah. They've kept it real in the other sense as well. Yeah, that's uh, it's pretty good. Mm. That um, seems like something the worst personal trainer you know would say to you. Yeah, yeah. They're like, <laughs> "Have you even thought about this before?" Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's pretty wanky, but uh, it's true. It's true. And also, also, here's the thing I wanted to mention on this, uh-huh. is why does anybody put good petrol in their car? This is this is my thought, is that the careful thought I put into fuel is which is the cheapest fuel. Yeah. <laughs> why would anybody... Okay, actually, like, this one has I ethanol in it. I'm like, I don't give a oh, fuck. This is bad because I'm just going to whisper this, Kemp. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hang, hang on one sec. Yeah. I'm just going to pump your mic right oh, <laughs> I'm going to whisper, but you're pumping my mic up. Yeah. Smart. So, my girlfriend's family... Yeah. Her parents, they put the expensive petrol in the car. And I was like, that's crazy. Why would you do that? That's insane. That's all. Okay. Uh, I have a rebuttal, but just to um, to kind of hide it, I'll play the theme music so people can't quite hear. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with the expensive fuel in the car? The waste of money got Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, very I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone. <laughs> 
<laughs> will have worked out <laughs> what I heard. Um, that's nuts. Uh, but do because... they do they do they put um, good fuel in their bodies? <laughs> oh, actually, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, then, well, then you can't. No, you... Wait. Okay. This is what I'd like to say. Oh my god! Now I feel like I'm just <laughs> ragging on my. Yeah, I'm gonna pump you <laughs> <like> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because they will buy really fancy stuff. Uh huh. Like, like they will. What's the they dumbest? They spit on the idea of buying a dr- like dried pasta. They have to have like uh, fresh pasta, okay, yeah. stuff like that, or like um, that. Basically, there's like this market. Have you ever gone to like one of those um, like a supermarket? Yeah. But it's but it's off brand. It's their own thing, and you're like. Everything there's just a little bit fancier, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. We, nicer we, containers for their jam and we stuff. We both used to live near one called yes. Leo's. Yes, which yeah. is uh, Leo's Fine Food and Wine. Yeah, yeah. And every time I walked in there, I was like, "Oh, oh I shouldn't be here." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the same stuff at the Coles a few shops down, but like three times more expensive. And, and I it looks cannot, fancier. I, I cannot afford a weekly <laughs> shop here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uh, anyway, so they should have that. But is that good fuel? Because they still might buy, I don't know, Nutella, but like fancy Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> Nutella that we've never heard of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that has even more palm oil. You destroys really- <laughs> even more of the jungle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> it's the same. It's still made by Ferrero, but yeah, yeah. they just, they, they've got added palm oil. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, um, a, what's the dumbest fancy thing that they buy that like wouldn't make a difference? Um, oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. I I I can't say for certain, but like, what about like rice? Mm, yeah, maybe. Oh, I, I'm not sure. I because because it's it's kind of hard to say, right? Mm. It's like, for example, I know, and I've said on this show before. If you're buying a can of beans, yeah. buy the cheapest can of beans. Um, that there, there is like no. You're not going to fit into this new family. Dif- of difference <laughs> between no, but like, but I can't be certain that they haven't done that. Yeah, because I don't know. Maybe maybe they did or whatever. Like, yeah, the canned anything. This like whatever. So and then you could argue maybe there is different quality between like I don't know bread or something. Mm-hmm. So it's hard for me to argue whether they have wasted their money on something or whether there is a bit of extra quality there. I don't think there is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who if they don't listen to that, that I think it's safe there. The show. Yeah, I think I'm pretty safe. Yeah. But they have listened. Who does listen to before? Uh oh. bully. <laughs> um just joking. <laughs> <laughs> covered. Got it covered. Don't worry, we're fine. Uh Here's another one. This was also cross posted to us by Gone Emotionally, but originally by Wimpy Kid Fan 37. Society just collectively forgot about prizes and cereal boxes. I there must have been some kind of lawsuit. Oh, you reckon? I, yeah. Someone a kid choking on something or, or I don't know. It could have just been like you're working for like on the Kellogg's. Yeah. And you're doing the the prizes in cereal boxes, which I feel like we didn't really get that much here. Am I crazy? I feel like not. Maybe not t- to the t- same extent. TV as and movies led me to believe every cereal box ever would have a toy in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but we did get Age of Empires. We got yeah on CD a box. That yeah. is nuts. That yeah. was the best one. That ever. was the best one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I still think about that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing is with so. I imagine that Kellogg's had a line of cereal that they always had a toy in. Mm-hmm. And then one run for whatever manufacturer reason, they forgot to put one in. Yeah. And then someone's like, it actually didn't affect our profit. Margin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, it improved them because we didn't have to put the toy yeah, in. And yeah, like, Done. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Kellogg was like, this is great. How about also underpaying our employees? <laughs> <laughs> Could we get away with doing that? And they were like, hmm, yeah. hmm yes, actually. We'll look into it. By the numbers, I think, I think we could make a lot more money from this. Uh, that's where it started. So, yeah, but like, I kind of miss that. I want to get prizes back in my cereal box. I barely have cereal anymore. But I want yeah, to I know, know that I could get a prize in a cereal yeah, box. Yeah, what's the new video game that they put in cereal boxes? Yeah. Give me a PlayStation 5. We started with Age of Empires. Is it yeah. the new Guardians of the Galaxy game on PS5? 
E... Which would be the equivalent, obviously. Yeah, Triple yeah. Triple A like, title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I doubt that. Well, I still feel like... Because Age of Empires 2, I think, was out by the time we got the CD-ROM. Age of Empires 1. Okay, so we'd be box. getting Spider-Man 1. Yeah. Because Spider-Man 2 is about to come yeah, out. Yeah, that's okay, fine. I'll that's take fine, it. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> it's still a great game. Um, but also, do you know what I think I've realized what they've replaced it with? Is they replaced it with Enter the Draw to Win. Yeah, they did, yeah. Because they realized... That's still just as captivating for people, but they don't actually have to spend as much money. Yeah. Because spending, you know, buying a million different tiny plastic toys is more than one really big prize or something. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, All right, Kevin, we should move on and get into podnapping. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm being podnapped. Podnapping. It is my week this week for the pod. Oh, wait, but this is pod. pod. <laughs> we take a topic of conversation or a segment from another thing and we do it ourselves. I I really, that intro is just, it's not really right. It's, it's outdated now. It's so outdated, but yeah. I don't want to change it. So it's going to stay that way. Anyway, uh, this one was sent in to us um, by Nom 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 Nation again. Thank you very much. Oh, it's CN. Yeah, I always yeah. forget CN. Yeah. Um, They said, uh, hello, you don't have to read this email on the show. I'm doing it anyway. But I finally did it. The old AI uh, I was using couldn't quite grasp the concept, but chat GPT was able to understand podnapping and actually come up with its own segment. A text document attached are written entirely by the AI. I've just separated them into two parts to avoid you seeing the answers. The AI suggests you ask the questions to listeners, but it's probably best if one of you asks the other. You could both do it, but you might have forgotten your answers by the time you get to that point. Enjoy, CN. P.S. I can't verify that any of the answers are correct. Again, <laughs> AI. It is so true. Uh, so, yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with chat GPT the other day. Yep. And one thing I asked it was, I thought it was so funny, right? Because I, I asked it a weirdly specific question. Uh, you know the game Exploding Kittens? Mm-hmm. I asked it how many cards were in a deck of that. And... It said how many there were, but not how, just how many. It also said specifically what, how many of each type of card. Mm-hmm. And then I was talking to my girlfriend about it, and she was like, oh, th- it's missed like, I, I remember playing, we've, it's missed these types of cards. And I said, oh, yeah, that's weird. And so then I said, I wrote back and I was like, how about these type of card? And it said, oh, no. yes. <laughs> no, it said, oh, yes, sorry. The previous information I gave you was incorrect. It include it does also include blah 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 and blah 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 like two other sets of cards, and I was like, that is such a weird thing to get wrong, and then for me to be like, hey, I think you missed something, and then for it to be like, oh yeah, I did, like it was trying to hide information yeah. from me, Gambo, in the first place. No, but I was it, it. That was like the first instance of where I was like, oh okay, it's just wrong, and then I tried to get it to explain why it like calculated that wrong. And then all it said was, well, I'm not, like, uh, uh, able to access the physical world. So I was like, I was like, yeah, okay, I get that. I, <laughs> I wasn't like, why didn't you go to a set of box <laughs> of exploding kitten cards and separate them and find out? But anyway, uh, so AI, not quite there yet, is what I think. Okay, I'm going to go through these questions. I think we should just both answer them. Okay. And then I'll go through the uh, answers and we'll see what happens. Uh Here is a plan for a podnapping segment called Guess That Year on the Reddit on Reddit podcast. Okay. Okay. Number one, introduce the... Oh, okay. It's giving me steps for this. Introduce the segment and explain the concept of podnapping. Done. Done. Taking an idea, segment, or quiz from another podcast or radio show and doing it yourselves. Mm, Close enough. Yeah. Two, explain the concept of Guess That Year. Giving listeners 10 historical events or inventions and asking them to guess the year in which they occurred. Each event or invention will be uh, accompanied by a clue to help listeners guess the year. Oh, okay, that's good. Three, provide the 10 events or inventions along with a clue for each. Okay, here we go. The Declaration of Independence was signed. Clue, the United States gained independence from Great Britain in this year. Well, yep. yeah, they're, that's, they're, that's they're directly the related. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing. And that's uh, why they're declaring that independence. Yeah. Oh, God, this is embar- This is not good uh, for us, is it, Cambo? Uh, 17. Hmm? 17. 17. 
the year 17. Yeah, I, I have zero idea, a concept yeah, yeah. of that, American, of history. American history. history. Ask us about Australian history. We still, also still, got, still, still don't know. Got, <laughs> still got no idea. I know, 1784. Uh, cool, done. Yeah. Lock that one in. The first, I can't wait to see how wildly off I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the first... Tel- I, I might write that down just so we could verify. Oh, okay. Yeah, Otherwise, because you'll be Can't like, oh, it's 1802. It's like, that's what I said. Okay, man, I'm going to whisper again. Don't write them down. We can just pretend that we got them right every time. No one will remember. Okay, uh, next one. The first television broadcast took place. Clue. Oh, the clues are going to be terrible. Clue. This year is often considered the beginning of the modern era of television. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Shitty television, television broadcast, you'd assume, is like the 50s? Um, I'm going to say 1959. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, actually, it would be earlier than that because 53, I'm going to say. You sure. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. Like, I don't have any logic to say either slightly more or slightly less. So, yep. Wait, yeah, okay, good. I'm thinking about it now. Was there, there's newsreel updates and radio updates about World War Two? Was there television updates? Oh. No. Do you know what I, I don't also so. remember? I think around the time of, oh, no, wait, that would have been uh, Nixon and Kennedy. I remember a weird fact where Nixon came across better on radio and worse on television. Yeah. Well, Nixon was the 60s. Think, yeah, yeah. It, that's probably just too late, I guess. Maybe that was when television became more common in well, homes. The thing is, this is the first broadcast. This isn't where... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to think of like t- things in history that reference like so, television and radio. So that was probably much too late, I guess. Yeah, I, I went by... My dad was born in 59. Right. And I remember, I remember him telling me like about him watching a TV show as like a very young kid. Yeah. Which means that TV must have been around for a few years. Right. By 59. Yeah, okay. So that, that was my internal yeah, logic. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, well, the first broadcast to and then that's the a thing. family getting a TV. There's a couple getting of years. Getting a TV, with- there's got to be like actually quite a yeah. bit probably. And in Australia. Yeah. As well. Maybe it's even earlier than 53. Maybe. Anyway, let's say 53. Okay. That's fine. Uh, the, also, it could be wrong. The invention. I feel like normally games like this would be like you can guess the decade. AI yeah. is like guess the year. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! I can get it. <laughs> uh, the invention of the steam engine. Oh god! Okay. Jesus, this they is- were around in the in the wild west. Wait, wait, wait! Give me, I'll give me the clue. Don't worry. This will, okay. this will help. This will yeah, help. Yeah. <laughs> clue. This year is widely considered the beginning of the industrial revolution. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, okay. AI. I'm thinking about if you watch a Western, people yeah. always pulling up into stations from the train. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So they're around then. When okay. are Westerns? When are, <laughs> <laughs> when are, when are Westerns? Like, like, okay, I'm watching a Western at the moment called 1883. Okay. That helps. Done, 1883. No, but before, before then. Happened. Oh, okay. So 1870. Because they didn't, they don't seem that. No one's like, oh my god, look at this train. They're pretty used to trains in 1883. <laughs> okay, that makes me think even earlier. Okay, though. 1860. 1860. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first. God, we're so dumb. <laughs> the first manned moon landing. Blue. Mm-hmm. This year is often associated with the phrase "one small step for man, one giant leap <laughs> for mankind." Uh, that was 69, wasn't it? Summer of 69. The only reason I, I think I know this is because in like 61. JFK was like, we will put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. I remember yeah. being like, you just, yeah, oh, scraped just in, got in. Scraped in. <laughs> uh, yes. That, that was the only one that I'm confident yeah. on so far. <laughs> I'm pretty confident on 1860. Oh, okay. <laughs> the invention of the printing press. Okay. Clue. This year is often considered the beginning of the Renaissance. The Renaissance? Oh, really? Wow. Okay. Do you reckon that's right? Uh, anyway. Uh, yes. That throws definitely. me way off. It knows. Um, the Renaissance is way earlier than I was expecting. No, actually, printing's pretty old. Okay, so yeah, what, yeah. what are we saying? Printing thirteen something. Um, what was the Renaissance? 
<laughs> I studied this at school. I should know. Yeah, well, whatever you think it is. I can tell you all is. about the Medici banking family yes. and how they took power in Florence. Yeah. Did they? At around. <laughs> I thought, you are hoping you were <laughs> Oh, wasn't that around uh, 1634? Nah, <laughs> oh, that's what I put. 1634. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because printing, I think, I think has I think been around I think for I'm a way off. Time. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Because I, I... I also get confused at like 16 whatever is the 15th century. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Okay. Uh, the first Olympic Games were held. Clue, this year is the earliest recorded instance of... The Olympic Games. Yeah, um, no shit. Modern Olympics or original Olympics? I think original Olympics, I'm assuming. Because they're pretty old. Yeah, yeah. They're the like... Grecians. Yeah, they're uh, like, I don't know, year 200 or something probably, right? Like, aren't they really, oh, really old? Oh, you reckon that old? Maybe. Mm, I would have thought just around Roman times. When's that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the time of Jesus, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't yeah. the Romans put him to death? Um, yeah. So do we need to go something BC? Uh, maybe. Do we just? You know what? I think you're look, right. Two hundred okay. BC. Shall Shall we give us the best chance, and we just decide whether it's BC <laughs> or AD? <laughs> or AD. <laughs> Which side of the fence does it land on? Yeah. I, I, I was I was actually leaning towards AD. Oh, okay. They killed him know. like, I let's celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> Are you there? Run 100 meters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, Why do you have to be naked? I'm into it, though. Maybe when... No, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, so you think AD. Yeah, I suppose I don't, it could Yeah, be. I don't know why. I mean, it would probably be in the Bible, right? Jesus the went to the Olympics. <laughs> And really enjoyed himself. He went to the drawing of the next city for the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, it's Athens again. Oh, yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's go AD. Yeah, yeah. It probably is AD. Yeah. yeah okay. Um. <laughs> okay. The invention of the telephone. Clue. This year is often considered the beginning of the information age. Okay. Um... Oh, I thought the information age was like way later. Uh, okay. Uh, Alexander Bell. Graham Bell. Thank oh, Graham Bell. Alexander Graham, Graham Bell. Bell. Yeah, yeah, it was the full... D- he hated No, it was it. Alexander and Graham Bell. <laughs> and Graham Bell. They were brothers. Yeah. Conjoined twins, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ironically, didn't need a phone. They could talk to each other whenever they wanted. <laughs> That's why they needed a phone. <laughs> like, I want to talk to anyone else right now. Uh, phone, what do you reckon? We talked about phones and the iteration of them earlier. Yeah, yes. Didn't, I didn't give any concrete years on that, though. So, a late 1800s, I, I reckon, don't right? Know. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like, okay, okay. Jack the Ripper was 1888. Oh, I man, feel like that makes did, me think. I feel like, like they didn't have phones, right? Yeah. But I reckon by 1900, they did. Oh, really? Wow. Like, yeah, yeah, well, okay, Titanic, be. 1912, I feel like they had phones. Yes. Yeah. Rudimentary, but yeah, they had phones. Yeah, 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 phones. So, 80, sure. 88 to 12. Oh, but, you're somewhere... not, but, you, but you're only just assuming that they I'm didn't vibing have this. 18, yeah. <laughs> Jack the Ripper, yeah. he didn't look like he could have handled a phone. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty confident on that, Nelson. I'm pretty he, confident. Yeah, if he had a, been able to call his mother, yeah. he never would have committed those heinous crimes. Or like if the prostitutes had called someone and be like, I think there's a Jack of the Ripper around. Yeah, because you're also assuming that when phones are invented, there were telephone boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Let's go with that logic anyway. All right, let's say... 18. 18. Or, or do you want to go 90 early 90? 90 something? 18, 90. 90. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Uh, the invention of the light bulb. Clue, this was the, <sighs> often considered the beginning of the electric age. Yep. Um, okay. Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> uh, uh, light bulb. Also I think, 18 as I well, think I it reckon. was the same year. I think they invented it at the same time. <laughs> No, actually, that can't be right. Okay. I mean, I, I was definitely joking anyway, but now I think even just remotely logically, it feels like the light bulb should be before quite a bit earlier. Yeah. Do they have light bulbs around Jack the Ripper? I'm always uh, seeing candles in the in the sketches ooh. I see. I think a little bit before. Just okay. not. Just 85. Not sure. <laughs> 
The First World War began. Clue, this year is often considered the beginning of the modern era of warfare. Yeah, uh, that was 19... It ended in... 17? 14? Was yeah, 14? I, think, I think it's 1914. 1914. Yeah. Isn't there a movie called 1914? 1917. Oh, which is when it ended. Yeah. Okay. They should do one called 1914 when it started. <laughs> uh, the invention of the internet. Clue, this year is often considered the beginning of the digital age. Late 80s, probably. Yeah, I was going to say... Because I, I feel like it, it became it came into homes in like 95. Yeah, yeah, 90-something, yeah. But uh, as the invention, surely it would have been like 89, 90. Yes. I'm going to say 88. I, actually I don't know why. I remember reading about this too, the way that... And you read it was started. invented in... And it was just like done between like campuses on a... We've talked about it on the show. University. Right, yeah, yeah. The guy um, didn't patent it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yes. That's it right. was about sharing documents, wasn't it? Like through yeah, his company yeah. or something, or the, the university. The yeah. university, I think. Okay, 1988? 88. I like the ring of that. Thank <laughs> F, Cambo. That was the last one. Oh, thank God. Um, okay, let's go on the answers. Yep. Let's do this quickly. This is a long yeah, episode. Long episode. Uh, step four, give the answers to the quiz, stating the event or the invention and the year in which it occurred. The Declaration of in- Independence was signed in 1776. Oh, 82! Oh, oh, we're so much closer than I thought we were going to be. That's at least 10 points. <laughs> 10 points for us, all right. The first television broadcast took place in 1927. What did we put? 53. Ugh, idiots. Okay. Idiots. Uh, you, you're Googling this to make sure? I'd never if, Google. I, I mean, being it. Yeah. We, we just... Uh, we're only checking the ones where we're way off. What, what year did it say? 27. Well, that's wrong. It's 28, but... <laughs> oh, well. We're more wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, the invention of the steam engine occurred in 1712. Oh, we oh, said 18. 60, yeah. Oh, oh 16. 17, 60. Well, oh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, bummer. The first man moon landing took place in 1969. Bang, Bang. right on. That's a thousand points right there. The invention of the printing press occurred in... Ooh. 1440. What did we say? 1634. No idea of time. I I don't know what was happening in the 1400s compared to the 1600s. No idea. Uh, The first Olympic... Oh, fuck you, (laughs) Cameron. The first Olympic Games were held in 776 BC. Oh, no! (laughs) Cameron. I originally so said Jesus this. did go to the Olympic Games. Uh, he he must have. He must. Have. He shunned them. I think uh, he didn't like games. Remember when he broke into the church and threw out the gambling and stuff? There was probably a lot of gambling at the Olympics. I think yeah. he was against it. That's why you never hear about it in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> the invention of the telephone occurred in 1876. Uh, we said 97. We <sighs> Jack the Ripper. There were telephones. Ah. <sighs> Guys, call about that. The that makes me rethink have. everything, Jack the Ripper. Now, <laughs> knowing that there was telephones about <laughs> the invention of the light bulb occurred in 1879. Yeah, we said 85. Yeah, because we're going off our Jack the Ripper Pretty logic. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the First World War began in 1914. Yep, got that right. Yep, the invention of the internet occurred in oh wow 1969. Really. Yeah, maybe check that one. Yeah. But I think, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Um, eighty-three on on uh, Bing. Yeah, but that's Bing. Uh, <laughs> January. Well, let's say like imagine if it was Google though. Yeah, yeah. January one, nineteen eighty-three is considered the official birthday of the internet. Hmm. Anyway, AI's got a lot of work to yeah, do. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, step five, end the segment by thanking the listeners. We thanks, never listeners, would. <laughs> for playing along and encouraging them to listen to the original podcast or radio show to learn more about the concept. I guess, yeah. Listen to Escape S- This Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They came up with it. Yeah. This segment. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we have time for We should just end the podcast because <laughs> this is so much. I'm out of the swing of things because we had that time off. You did a second shower thought, and I was baffled by that. I must admit. Yeah, I didn't think about it. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, uh, thanks for listening. Th- th- thanks, for listening. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for participating in the thing that we did. Uh, okay, we didn't read out any emails, but if you would like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R E A D I T podcast, gmail.com. Yep. You can also reach us at Facebook, Twitter, and our subreddit. They're all R E A D I T podcast. 
subscribe yep. and rate the show yep. and whatever you're listening to. And uh, <laughs> thanks for listening. And we will read you later.